Well, I mean, looking at that worst case scenario, if China does have a hard landing, of course, the big question is, what's the wider repercussions around the world for the rest of us? Well, the, the repercussions are, of course, mixed like with, like with any event. Um, if you look at Asia, for example, um, Asia is very tightly linked into the Chinese growth story. Uh, South Korea, Japan, to name but two, their, their fortunes depend very, very heavily on what's going on uh, within, within China. Uh, more broadly, um, if you look at uh, commodities countries, for example, uh, they've done very well out of the Chinese growth story over the past few years. Clearly, if you had a hard landing in China, by which we're talking about growth coming down to 7% or maybe a bit less, this would be bad news for them because commodity prices would come down. But it would also be good news, of course, for commodities users. Uh, so you'd see oil prices coming down a bit more, for example, industrial raw materials prices coming down and so on. So a mixed, uh, a mixed bag, but of course China has been very good news for the global economy over the past few years. So it's in everybody's interest that the Chinese authorities do manage to pull off this sort of slow, uh, gradual slowdown and don't overstep the mark. Thank you.